good morning, it's a new day. Fresh pajamas, fresh hair. So my consultant came to see me this morning and we discussed what's gonna happen once I have this scan on Friday. There could be a number of different outcomes. One of them being they don't find anything and the other being that they do find a leak. Now if they do find a leak, see that's a different kettle of fish because it depends how big the leak is, where it is, and there's lots of different treatment options. But if they don't find the leak, she said that I'm most likely will just get another blood patch and I'll be referred to London to the headache specialist hospital which is in Queen's Park because I'm actually getting married in three months. Can you imagine on my wedding day like I'm literally crawling down the aisle because I can't stand up. So I've had my first question from Phage Troller. What is a blood patch and apologies I haven't covered this earlier. A blood patch is effectively taking your own blood and re-injecting it into your spine. So the first thing is you start off with a blood test. You've got to have the blood test to make sure your blood is clean so that you're not injecting infected blood back into your epidural space. It has to be done in a sterile environment, so all of mine have been done in theatres. You have to curl yourself up into a ball so that chin to your chest and knees up into your chest to open up your spine as much as possible. An anaesthetist will then feel up your spine and find the best space that he can go in, normally in your lumbar region, and he will mark the area. He will then inject local anaesthetic around the area he's looking to go into so that it's all numb and that you can't feel anything. You'll then place a large needle in your back. A doctor in front of you will take 20 millilitres of blood out of your arm and then pass that 20 millilitres to the anaesthetist who's behind you. The anaesthetist will then inject that 20 millilitres into your epidural space, all depending on how much you can tolerate. When I had my first blood patch, I could only tolerate 8 millilitres, and that's because I was pregnant. To my last blood patch, I tolerated 30 millilitres. And in the past, I have actually managed to take the whole 20, which was quite painful. You feel pain down the backs of your legs and into your buttocks. When the anaesthetist is happy, he will remove everything and place a small bandage on the area. The results are immediate. Then they make you lay flat on your back. The first time I had it done, it was only for four hours. But by the last time of my, my last blood patch, my fourth one, they made me lay down for 24 hours. Laying down does involve having to use bed pans, unfortunately, to go to the toilet. And also, it, you are literally not allowed to leave your bed at all. So what happens is the blood that's been injected into your spine actually plugs the hole and effectively stops you from leaking. Well, I've just had a compliment. Someone just told me I look good in the turban. I was like, cheers. Today hasn't been too much of a bad day. I've just got into a routine now, just laying down whenever I can and getting up whenever I can. I've had visitors, I've seen my fiance and my daughter today, which has been good, and uh, see what tomorrow will bring. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.